The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. It's Q101. Ahoy! Let's go! We wake it up, Chicago! Turn up the radio! It's time to start the show! On Q101! It is Thursday. It's the pre-Friday, as we call it. Uh, 312-591-8300. Do your uh, proof of life check-in with us. We have a lot today. World premiere music from Green Day coming up again this week at 8 a.m., the next single. Look, Ma, No Brains. That's the song, Kenzie. Oh, that's what it's called? Yep, Look, look, Ma, No Brains. So you're just talking about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so well, that'll I'm be like, a- I get it. I, I know. Am, eh, yeah. Call my mom all the time, talk to her about it. But uh, 8 o'clock, we'll have that, plus Ticket Blitz Thursday launches which will be for the finale night of Q101's Twisted Christmas. And that is Gaslight Anthem, Young the Giant, plus a pre-party with us. So that is happening at 8, 9 every hour. That'll go all day today. Plus, Clash with Kenzie. Still chances to get guaranteed entry into the Group Love pop-up one week from tomorrow at the Cubby Bear. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Oh, plus I went to the Halloween store, Halloween City, and we'll have the reveal of what happened when I tried to return a $13 parrot. That they told me I could return. That'll be at 735, 740. So <laughs> hang on to the edge of your seat. Oh, Case knows, because Case is with me, Case the producer, but we don't tell we don't let Kenzie want her natural on air reaction to when we tell her what happened. We'll release yeah, a video. I don't know if you got your money back. Yeah, it's exciting. You won't believe what happened, to be honest. You will not believe how this played out. Anyway. I'm excited. That's coming up at 740. Uh What's going on with you? You went to a play last night, right? Yeah, I saw Company last night. Okay. It was the grand opening of a classic. Obviously, that's been on Broadway kind of a million and one times and toured around the world. So, very exciting that it is here in Chicago. Sucking it up on a Thursday night, going on school oh, night, staying no. up late. Pregnant and all that. What are you doing? I know. It was tough. <laughs> but you guys see it. Go, you know, companies in town. And it's an adaptation of company. Uh, they actually switched it to being a female lead. A little bit of rewrites in there. So, interesting. Definitely okay. an interesting take on it. Nothing was more interesting, though. Oh. Uh, than the experience I had where I was genuinely repulsed. Oh, boy. By the woman sitting behind me. Okay. It sounds weird, right? Well, so yeah. I, I have not experienced this before. I, I feel like I always end up near the most annoying person in the theater. Like mm. I always end up near the talker who's like, "No, you got to watch this next part." Of course, I'm gonna watch the next part. Yeah. <laughs> what okay. else am I gonna watch? Now, let me be clear. You sit quietly and enjoy the theater. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have respect. I understand that I'm a loud person. I understand I'm on the radio. <laughs> However, I have respect for performers. I have respect for people buying tickets to Got a it. show. Yep. One time I went to a show and somebody sitting next to me was trying to translate the entire thing into Spanish. That's impressive. Every line. Impressive, though. But, like, also, <laughs> you know what so I mean? So somebody next to him they were yes. translating? That's a lot. It's a lot. There's got to be an so app for I just, that. I always end up in, like, the weirdest situations where I'm like, oh, come on. Just watch it. Yeah. Like, it just drives me insane. Sit and enjoy. So, last night... And there was a man and a woman behind me, okay? And uh, at first, it was, like, kind of a decent amount of coughs, which that, that sucks when you have, like, something in your throat or, like, sometimes you have a lingering cough. Those things can last for, like, three months. So I was trying to be super understanding. I get it. However, there was no effort to, like, cover it. Mm. If you if you cough, like, and you put your hand on it, I can tell you're muffling it, like, NBD, right? But we're talking, like... I can feel it mm. just out in the open, like You're when a toddler sh- looks in your face and goes, <laughs> it's like, okay, oh. thank you. Wait, you me, give me an invitation to the cough again that she was doing last night, this woman? Well, she was like, uh, 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 like all over me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> then, like every two minutes, she'd go, <sighs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> And at first, I'm like, oh, she must have got something stuck in her throat. Poor Cause, girl. Because they sell popcorn, yeah. right? So I'm like, oh, she must have got something stuck in her throat. So I'm giving her a chance. I'm talking an hour and a half into the play. <sighs> like, dude, there's quiet scenes in this. <laughs> the, like, what is going on? And then. Oh, boy. And then. Oh, okay, what happened then? Mixed in with those two things, which I could deal with, was constant belching. Loud, 
Whoa. Bellowing. Like, like a joke. <laughs> like Will Ferrell in Elf when he's like, did you hear that? Like, that's what she kept doing. <laughs> And I'm not even kidding you. I could feel it on the back of my neck, like Ew, the wind. She was juice. belching yeah. so loud and so long, like it, the air coming out of her, not covering her mouth at all. Yeah, no effort. I turned around and said, "Jesus effing Christ!" Wow. in her face one time. Wow. I was so pissed, and she just sat there and looked at me, like she didn't have an argument. She didn't have a because I was starting. It is repulsive, yeah. and it's not once. I don't care. It's not that you're doing. I don't know what the hell is going on back here, and yeah. I understand that you can run into issues. There is no effort in covering anything. Yeah. You're like spitting on people. You're being loud as hell in the middle. That is that is rude to actors. People spend a lot of money on tickets. If you got an issue, there's plenty of time to go stand up, get a little water, clear your throat. Absolutely. Yeah, you gotta, right? you gotta go back. You gotta go. Some. Was she dying? She look okay. Did she I look okay? I wish she would have. I was like, that's enough. <laughs> oh, boy, Lady, easy. It pissed me off. I was like, and that's the thing is it wasn't like a sickness attack. Like, you're belching nonstop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can hear her smacking and eating and drinking things. So it wasn't like, I just feel awful, right? Like, you're just enjoying yourself. There was actually a decent amount of talking from her and the guy she was with as well. But the belching and everything else was so disgusting that I couldn't even... Normally, I'd be mad at somebody talking through yeah. a production. Like, because it was an adaptation, they kept going, oh, that line's in the original. Yeah, yeah that's, there's going to be a lot of lines oh. that are in the original. If you're adding commentary, that's okay. I'm just more fascinated with the sounds. Oh, my God. So do the do the, uh, do the the cough again. It was like... <coughs> <coughs> it was like, Jesus. <laughs> All, oh of sudden, God. all of a sudden, she sounded like Richard Nixon. Kenzie doing that cost. Oh okay, God. now do the, the throat clear with the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> and now do the belch. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? Figure it out. <laughs> oh, my God. It was just, it was such a bad experience. And then I, I'm sitting there like, am I the only one? Is no one else hearing this? Yeah. An intermission hit, and they got up and, I, I don't know, got more popcorn to choke on throughout the show or whatever. They got some soup. Oh, my God. Maybe they, they sell soup back left. there. Because, yeah. good Lord. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Well, it's time for a fact that makes your brain just go... Now, this is something that's been going on for decades since the beginning of the cellular phone. And this fact comes from people I was talking about, me and my wife, you know, thinking about having a second child. We're still, like, Harper's going to be one year old next week. Pretty exciting. Well, should we have another one? We got a real perfect one. Should we try for another? I don't know if you guys out there, listeners, have I just think it would be so fun. I wanted to be pregnant in tandem with Megan. Oh. I got to get to work then. But I may have to stop doing this because it's my problem here with uh, the boys downstairs. You know, the things, the things that make it happen, make a baby happen. You know, the sperm. Yes, I, I, I understand that it takes sperm. Thank you, Brian. They tried every code word, the swimmers. So. Stop, stop using the word and coming up with code words. So, We've sper- called your sperm, sperm seven things this morning. <laughs> you just, what's Re- going on? Researchers at the University of Geneva, they found that sperm concentration was significantly higher in the group of men who did not use their cell phone more than once a week. Uh, 56.5 million. More than once a week? The ones that did not use it more than once a week. So just like once a week. How the hell do you only use your phone once a week? I'll give you some numbers here. 56.5 million per milliliter. That's the ones that did not use their phone more than once a week. Compared to the men who use their phone more than 20 times a day. Which is probably average oh, just with emails and so not even just like social media, but emails and stuff. Yeah, it's not about talking. It's about having the phone and doing like anything on it uh, because who really talks on that damn thing? Um, so, so basically were- old men who are used to landlines yeah. have the highest count. 44.5 million per milliliter. So there's about a 12, <clears throat> a 12 million facto difference in the ones that use it one time a week or 20 times a day. And that's a pretty significant drop in swimmers. Can I ask, those are the only two things they tested? 
once a week and more than 20 times a day. It's kind of jump. I guess they figured it was either. There's no gray area. Well, I mean, like, they, if they went by 10 times, you figured it out because it's 12 million between. Let's say you use the phone five times a week, we'll be like. Just a little bit less I'm there, another million. I'm not going to sit here and crunch sperm numbers. <laughs> Tell me to figure it out. Well, I called you last night. I told you that's what today's show is going to be about. You crunching sperm it. numbers. I don't want to do it. Well, I already don't like math. I don't want it to be about sperm. <laughs> this is the worst algebra <laughs> problem ever. Case, would you have a problem crunching sperm numbers? Brian, I'd be more than happy to. See? I'm not doing See it. See how easy that was? Yeah. No. Uh, I'll, I'll put my nose to the grindstone. I'll crush some sperm. <laughs> you know when you're in math class and they're like, so Johnny has 12 apples. Now I know what they're talking about. <laughs> no, thank you. If a, you if your a, apple's your problem. If a sperm leaves Rockford on a train going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> so, so Y equals MX plus B. <laughs> X is the sperm. Solve. E, no. E equals MC sperm. <laughs> I hate this. That's what came in today? No. <laughs> well, the lesson is... But that's not different from other days. Facts. So, the lesson is, is uh, using your phone is causing some kind of issues going on. And they are suggesting that 4G and 5G is less harmful than 2G. Now, who's left on 2G, by the way? You know what I mean? Like, everybody's on 4G. 5G, most people are starting to get to when you have a phone. How do you know what you're on? It says it. Where? Look at your phone right now. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Look up in the top upper right corner. Okay, I I see. What do you? What service do you have? I have um, Xfinity. Oh, okay. What do you have, Case? A- AT and T. I got Verizon. That's interesting. We're all different. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm on 4G because I didn't buy the newest iPhone, so I it can't. Doesn't get... say, where does it say it? Up in the upper right corner. Is that doing on yours phone? Your... I got bars. I got the sonar, and I got the, the what? Like the sonar. That's the way to look, like the yeah, rings the, the that wi- look the wi- like the Wi-Fi. That look like a sound effect. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sonar is what you're trying to say. Like, like if yeah, like if you were under the water. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Again, sonar, that? not sonar. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> well, wanna... I, Jesus. Well, you get that when you don't want to crunch sperm numbers. It's Olivia Saw, not Olivia Saw. <laughs> So anyway, you're probably on, four, how old's your phone? A couple years? Like four years, I think. Mine is too. I have like the iPhone 11. So you're probably on 4G. You had to get a 5G phone in the last like year or two, I'm right? I'm on that 5G. Yeah, you got that 5G? I got that 5G. That's I, only- don't they say that's like taking planes down and stuff? Isn't I, that the rumor? <laughs> that was the rumor. It started COVID. It spread COVID. I'm not traveling with Case. <laughs> get your 5G phone out of here. I don't know. I've taken a, I've taken a flight with a 5G phone. I landed on the ground. I was okay. When? <laughs> when did you fly with your this 5G? This summer. I, I, uh, from Kansas City to here. Mm-hmm. That 45-minute yeah. flight, everything was fine. Well, yeah. They, it's, it says it only affects flights over an hour. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> knows that taste. Wow. That's another fact. You didn't know you are getting today. I guess the lesson here is, no matter what G you have, uh, unless you have 2G, which has to be a flip phone, uh, keep it away from your junk and try to put it down more. It doesn't say it has to be in your front pocket to cause this problem either. Like people think, oh, it's right down there. Because I lay on the couch, I put my phone right there kind of on my stomach sometimes. Do you like watch videos with it propped up by yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. You my... prop your phone up on your stomach? Well, my belly's kind of like a, a drive-in theater. It's kind of, it, <laughs> I, can, I can make the screen high. And... Poor Megan has to come into the house after a long day of work and going to the gym, picks up the baby on the way home, and Brian turned his stomach into like an iPad stand. <laughs> <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. We'll have sports coming up here at 7. Uh, more going on with the Bears. Unbelievable what a cluster F is going on up there at Hallis Hall. We'll talk about that. Also, uh, a big death in the sports community that may or may not uh, affect you. You may not even know. I'm curious if Kenzie knows who the guy is. And, you know, Because it's it kind of goes back a ways in, in a way. It feels like it's really a long time ago. But people in Indiana know what I'm talking about on this. So that's a little hint. Uh, first off, Kenzie talked about 5G phones. 224 checked in. Hey, Kenzie. First, thanks for being an Xfinity customer. Second... When our techs have to work near the 5G antennas, we have to call and have them uh, have them turned off, the wow. 5G antennas. Because Kenzie thinks 5G antennas bring down airplanes, bring down jets. See? But look at that. Wow, well, yeah. I heard that. It's not my, it's not my like, opinion <laughs> yeah. of what 5G, because I've done research. I've just heard there's, like, rumors about that. I'm going to do a little deep dive and see if you have some kind of blog set up about this. 
Yeah, I have a huge... You're the one I, have, in that. I have a petition going. <laughs> in the meantime, it's Gil Curtis. With your headlines, or at least what uh, Gil thinks headlines are today. This is not headline news. There are rumors Apple may buy Disney. We'll know for sure when all the kids from It's a Small World start assembling iPhones. Junk food sales continue to decline due to Ozempic. You can tell little Debbie's feeling the pinch. She's now on OnlyFans. Nike is releasing a shoe that's designed to help toddlers learn how to walk. Its slogan is, just poo it. George Clooney's Batman suit will be up for auction. So if you want to own something from history's worst Batman, buy it from Ben Affleck. And Walmart will be closed on Thanksgiving. Because even people who make meth in bathrooms should be able to spend time with loved ones. This is not Headline News. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.